Hey y'all, I'm excited to tell y'all today's recipe is gonna be something that you are not gonna wanna miss. We are cooking salmon. We're gonna use some Parmesan. We're gonna put some Flavor God season on there. And if you don't know about that, I got a video coming for that too. But this salmon, you're not gonna wanna miss this because it's the only way that you're gonna wanna cook it after you see this. And if you don't have an air fryer yet, make sure you grab an air fryer. Air frying is next level. If you don't like baking because it doesn't come out crispy, it doesn't come out nice and juicy, you end up with dried out or just taste baked instead of fried, air fryer is what you're gonna want. So check it out. Okay, here are the ingredients. We need some salmon. We're just making enough so we have two fillets of salmon. Make sure that you thaw it out. It tastes better when it's thawed. Asparagus. We'll go ahead and pull that out the plastic in a minute. We got butter. We're not gonna use all of it. Oil. We're using olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, but we're using olive oil. Put some cheese on it. Parmesan, shredded cheese. It's gonna taste yummy. What do we do for that crunch? Panko breadcrumbs. I heard you could use chicharrones or some pork rinds. We're using panko. Do it our way, tastes good. All right, we're gonna mix up some garlic. We're not gonna measure. We love a lot of garlic, so put in how much you like. We're putting in a lot. That's not an ingredient, but that's where we're gonna mix everything. Now this stuff you're gonna have to find on your own. You can go to the website, flavorgod.com, or you can go on Amazon. They have a couple flavors. We're gonna use some Italian zest. That's gonna go on top. Garlic lovers. And a little bit of everything. You can use your season all in place of everything. You can just put some garlic in place of garlic lovers. And Italian seasoning in place of Italian zest. Do it this way, it tastes amazing, trust me. We're gonna prep the asparagus first, cause that's the easiest. We cut the ends off, give them a rinse. We're gonna put them in the pan, drizzle some olive oil over it, and then we're gonna season it. Season time. Just a drizzle of olive oil. That way we get it nice and crispy. The goal is to get every asparagus covered with the oil. So just give them a toss. This is where we throw on the garlic lovers and the everything. Toss them again, get all that flavor all over the asparagus. If you don't like asparagus, you can substitute your own vegetable. But if you like asparagus, follow these instructions. It'll come out delicious. Adios, asparagus ends. Get your salmon on the cutting board, skin down. We're gonna leave the skin on for the cooking. It's a little bit easier to take off once it's done cooking. But we're gonna cut it in half, and then we're gonna season it once it's cut in half, and then we're gonna put it in the air fryer. There we go. Two pieces. One. Too. And when you thaw out the fish, even if you don't thaw it out and you get it fresh from the market or from the grocery store, it's gonna be a little slimy, a little wet. Pat it down. We just wanna dry it. Still got some shine to it. But pat every side, including the top. First we're throwing pepper on top. We love pepper. So we're not cheap with the pepper. For this next step, these are the only ingredients we need. The Parmesan, the minced garlic, the panko breadcrumbs, the Italian zest, and some butter. We're gonna put them in a bowl. We're gonna melt the butter first, and then we're gonna put all the ingredients in. We're gonna cut two tablespoons off. We're gonna throw it in a microwave safe container. Throw it in for about one minute. That should be more than enough time. If it doesn't melt completely, don't worry. It'll melt as it's sitting. We'll throw that in the microwave. Surprise. That's where we keep our strainer, don't judge. One minute on the clock, ready, set, go. This is a quarter cup of panko breadcrumbs, or whatever breadcrumbs you're choosing. 
Next we got a quarter cup of Parmesan. So a whole teaspoon of Italian. Butter's ready. Not quite a teaspoon. Once you mix the garlic and the butter, go ahead and combine both of those. And this is what's gonna give that nice, crispy, crunchy topping to the salmon. Make sure you stir that up really well. Get everything off of the bottom. So you get the evenly distributed seasonings on top of your salmon. You'll know you're done mixing it when it smells amazing and you're ready to eat, but you haven't even cooked anything yet. We're gonna put that on top. Apply generously. It's gonna cook, don't worry. Cover every last inch of that salmon. You want to get adventurous you can do that by hand so those of you watching who might think that two pieces of salmon is a small meal especially for two people don't be fooled the salmon with this topping is very filling especially if you're using this topping Looking beautiful. But I'm telling you, this is gonna come out amazing. Air fryer tip for the people who have one just like this, the oven style. Wrap your drip tray in aluminum foil. This will make for easy cleanup. You don't have to worry about staining the bottom of your air fryer with all of the drips from the grease, the fat, and any seasoning that falls down below. This also protects your heating coils inside. This may be a controversial topic, do as you please, but for us, we put the drip tray on top of these rails because it slides right in, protects the heating elements, and it still comes out nice and crispy and preheats to the perfect temperature as needed. If you don't have these baskets, pick them up online, Amazon, or the Emerald website. Now that our oven is prepped, we've got our basket up top. Basket down below. We're gonna put the asparagus down there. We're gonna put the salmon up higher. So let's load these baskets up now. Also, don't forget some kind of a non stick spray like Pam on your baskets. That way, when you go to pull the fish off, it doesn't leave half of it behind. Now this next part's up to you. I pull the drip tray out, sprinkle some seasoning on the asparagus, just so that way I have some extra seasoning. Give it a really nice flavor. Let's grab some salmon. For this part, use a spatula so you can be sure you get all the seasonings. Tongs might be a little, little too floppy since it's fish. We're not going to let those seasons go to waste. We'll throw those on top. Another big reason why we put aluminum foil over the drip tray, because we're going to get a lot of seasonings on it while we're prepping. Let's throw that on the top shelf. Slide that drip tray back in place. Close her up. Let's set it to air fry. We're already at 400, it says air fry, but we're gonna give it 15 minutes. 15 minutes will be perfect for nicely cooked salmon and nice and cooked asparagus, a little bit of crunch to it still. Let's hit start. Now while it's preheating, don't worry, it's not gonna cook it any extra. Let it preheat, it'll start counting down once it's gotten to temperature, once it's reached 400 degrees. Asparagus, got a little crisp to it, but nice and cooked. If you like your asparagus a little crispier, throw it in for another seven minutes, perfect. 
we are almost there. Now, if you like a medium salmon, the recommendation is 120, 125 degree center temperature. For us, we're gonna go with just above the recommended USDA, which is 160. You can cook it at 140 and it'll still be okay, but 160 is basically where we wanna be. Let's bring that out. Look at the crisp, look at the crunch. Let's find out what the temperature is, right? Let's check this one. Okay. That's what we want. Let's bring the asparagus out as well. That is beautiful. You got the Parmesan and the panko, nice and crispy. This is the outcome that you want. There you have it. I'll make sure that I leave the recipe in the description later on. Make sure that you subscribe, hit that like button, let me know that you enjoy my videos, and of course subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when I post my next video and when I go live. You'll get more recipes from the air fryer, Instant Pot, anything that I'm cooking, we're going to make sure that we put together a nice instructional video, make it easy, follow the instructions exactly the way we do them in this video. Now air fryers, even though they do differ, as long as you have an oven style, this will come out the exact same way. You may need to tweak it a little bit if you have the basket style, especially since some of those baskets don't have dual layers, so you can do the asparagus and the salmon together. If you have multiple air fryers, do them separately. Same cook time, same temperature, and you'll have this beautiful salmon and asparagus dinner. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will definitely see you all in the next one.